I think I may have a new favorite stream deck. Up until now, if you've wanted a stream deck, you have a couple options. You can buy a physical stream deck and pay anywhere from $80 to $250, or you can download the stream deck app and pay $2.50 a month. Yes, I know about Touch Portal. Stop telling me like I don't know what that is. The app would function exactly the same as the regular 15 button stream deck. Same number of buttons, same software, just on your phone. The thing is, it doesn't matter whether you have the smallest iPhone or the biggest iPad, you're still stuck with 15 buttons. So you should have seen the look in my face when Elgato told me about the new update for the Stream Deck app. Not only can you have anywhere from one to 64 buttons, but they're also offering a lifetime payment option so you don't have to pay a recurring monthly fee. And if you don't wanna pay any money, you can use the app completely for free. Although you only get six buttons, but you don't have to pay anything. It's not a trial. It's like, actually, you can just use it forever. Plus, if you have an iPad, you can push those buttons all the way up to 128. That's like having four Stream Deck XLs like glued together and wireless. There's so much to this update, so let's, let's just talk about it. Do you still have that Windows activation watermark? This is a YouTube video, I can't hear you. Why are you talking to your screen? You can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM license from this week's sponsor, VIP SCD Keys. They have keys for as little as $16, just use a secure payment method like PayPal. They'll send you an activation key to your email, pop that into your Windows settings, and that's it. You got no more annoying watermark. And you can like change the wallpaper and all the personalization stuff that you couldn't do before. All three of my PCs are using keys that I got from VIP SCD keys. And if you want, you can also upgrade to Windows 11 for free, or if it's easier, they also have Windows 11 keys for as little as $22. Just make sure to use the code NUTTY at checkout to get 25% off for a limited time. Okay, so first off, uh, this update is only available for iOS right now. I don't work for Elgato, okay, stop yelling at me. I believe they are working on an update for Android, but they haven't told me anything, so go ask them. So the first big update is the lifetime payment option. Now you can still pay $5 a month if that fits your financial situation better. I personally hate subscription fees, and now you can pay a one-time $50 fee and you, you have the app forever. That's just mind blowing to me because you can get a refurbished iPad from Amazon for around like $200, and then you can add $50 on top of that for the app, and it's gonna do pretty much everything that the stream, actually really everything that the Stream Deck XL can do, but it will also do everything that an iPad can do. I didn't even have an iPad. I got this one for like $300 and it's a last generation iPad. So it's not even that old. I got said they'd pay me back for that. So I don't know if that counts. What's more is if you don't wanna pay any money or you already have a Stream Deck and you just want extra buttons, you can still use the app completely for free. You'll just be limited to a three by two layout, which is the same size as the Stream Deck Mini, but there's no limits to it. It's not a trial. You have access to all of the same functions. You can use all the plugins from the Stream Deck store. They call it a store, but I'm pretty sure everything that's on it is free. They've also streamlined the setup process, which is pretty neat. When you first launch the app, it's gonna automatically search for any computers on your network that have the Stream Deck software installed. And you just have to click on trust and that will pair your iPad or iPhone to your PC. And then from there, it's the exact same process as if you plugged in a physical Stream Deck. You'll only be able to use the Stream Deck mini layout for free, but if you wanted to set up more buttons, you technically can it's just the extra buttons are gonna have little locks around them which means you can't actually press them other than that it's the exact same experience as any other stream deck so you can add buttons to control scenes and obs for sound effects open programs you can use it to control any other elgato products that you might have and of course you can create different profiles so if you want to have a separate profile for just recording youtube videos and then just for streaming you can do that but additionally, they're introducing this new concept of virtual devices. So let's say you wanna have one Stream Deck that's fully maxed out, like the full 64 buttons, but you also wanna have a different page that just uses a five by three layout. Well, you can create another virtual device in the settings and it'll just appear in the Stream Deck software like another Stream Deck. Even better, if you have a two PC setup, you can install the Stream Deck software on both PCs and then you can just add a virtual device for each PC and swap back and forth between the two. But the app has one big trick up its sleeve. So if you have an iPad, 
You can use the split view and have two instances of the Stream Deck app opened at the same time, which means you can have a total of 128 buttons. That is four times the size of the biggest Stream Deck XL. I said that at the start of the video, so you already knew that. Now, unfortunately, it leaves this kind of big cringe gap at the top of it. So I have found that the best layout is to have a six by eight on both sides. So you'll get a total of 96 buttons, but it fills out the screen a lot better. And if you just have one of them open, it fits the screen really nicely like that too. And each of these halves acts as their own independent stream deck and you can get crazy with the layout. So one thing you could do is you can set up one side to be like just a column and then the other one can be a big stream deck and you can just move it to the side here and you can have like this act as a sticky stream deck. So every time you like navigate through folders through here, all of these buttons stay the same. Something neat that I discovered with this vertical stream deck is the iPad has this thing called slide over. And then with the other side, you could just navigate through your other apps. So right now, this is the Notion page that I'm literally using to read the script off for this video. And I can read my script here and then I can pull over this vertical stream deck that has like a record button. So if I'm far from my PC, I can still hit the record button. I can change scenes and I don't have to keep walking over to my PC because it's it's just all there. So this is, I don't know. That, I don't know what else to say. That was cool. I wasn't reading the script, so I don't know what to say. But my favorite use case for this split screen layout is for controlling a two PC setup. So the left hand side controls my streaming PC so I can launch all my programs on that PC. But then the right hand PC controls the, this one right here, my recording PC. So I can change to all my different scenes, change to all my different camera angles. And I can control all of my lights. So this top row controls the lights for my streaming PC. So I can, I can just go ahead and turn all of those off. And then these two here control the lights for the recording side. And now it's dark and I can't see anything. There are some other minor changes to the app too. For example, they have digital face plates. So if you wanna change the background of your stream decks, you can do that. And it's kind of useful in the split screen view because it makes it easier to tell which stream deck is which. And you can of course use your own image as a background too. And I think this one is gonna look great. What do you think? Is that good? And it also has Siri support. Although if I'm being totally honest, it's kind of slow. So I'm gonna be sticking to using StreamerBot even though it looks like it was made in Windows 95. Hey Siri, camera one. But that's it for all the changes. Uh, I do want to address one comment that I know I'm going to get a lot of, and that is, what about Touch Portal? Or what about Sammy or Streamer Bot Dex or whatever? Guys, I'm not a moron, okay? I obviously know about Touch Portal. I'm like the guy who talks about streaming and does literally nothing else with his life. Those are all great, cheaper alternatives. And if you feel like you don't need a stream deck, then don't buy one. But Every single one of those Stream Deck alternatives have major issues with user experience. So it's totally valid for someone to want to spend a little bit extra money for that peace of mind. Like take this for example, let's just say I wanted to change a scene. Well, on a Stream Deck, you drag a scene button, you pick your scene and you're done. And you just rinse and repeat for all your scenes and the Stream Deck will highlight your active scene so you know what scene you're on. But on Touch Portal, you gotta make a new button, you gotta pick a scene, then you gotta put a whole ass if statement saying, whenever I change scenes and we're on the right scene, then make sure to highlight it this color. And if we're not on the right scene, then make sure to not highlight it this color. Then you gotta put a whole ass text label because if you forget to put a text label, then the button will be invisible and you won't be able to find it anymore. Like, really, come on, what are we doing? Totally cool if you guys like Touch Portal. I like Touch Portal, but I just got super tired of all the people acting like there's no reason why anyone should buy a Stream Deck because I, yeah, I think I made my point. I need to calm down. <laughs> anyway, go out, check out the new Stream Deck app. Even if you already have a Stream Deck, everyone basically gets a Stream Deck mini without having to do anything. Do all of the Twitch, Discord, Patreon stuff down below. And also uh, I'm thinking about making a video of like ideas for things to put on your Stream Deck. Would that be interesting to you guys? 
Let me know in the comments down below. I'm not just doing that for engagement. I actually really want to know.